What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leia and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam, become a bestie, all that good stuff. Remember, journey to 1k subs. We are on that road to monetization. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video, share this channel, all that good stuff. Don't forget to check the description box for all your goodies and deets and all that jazz. Your girl got her hair did. Not really, I didn't get it did, but I washed it. So you don't have to worry about my hair looking crusty dusty. It's gonna get done tomorrow, New Year's Eve. So yeah, um, bringing you guys Love Island the Game, Stigger Twist episode 15. So if you haven't seen episode 14, definitely go check that out before you continue with this one. So let's just jump straight on into it. Let's go. All right, episode 15, snap them up. It's recoupling time in the villa. Bombshells go first. Oh man. Welcome back to Love Island where excess baggage spills some truths and a surprise recoupling announcement raise some tensions. It's like a pressure cooker in there. Pressure cookers are actually a bit of a sore subject for me. Mine kept undercooking my pasta for no reason, so I threw it away. I can never identify what was wrong with it. How was I supposed to know I needed plugging in? Anyway, let's get back to it and find out who's stewing over the coupling and who's cooked up a plan. You all look around at each other, shocked by the news of the recoupling. Well, the recoupling has come at a good time. Has it? Nah, I'm joking. Terrible timing after all that baggage. At least we have some time before the recoupling to think through our decisions. I reckon we all need some thinking time. I guess I've given a lot to think about in excess baggage, Bonnie. Over 70 things to think about by the sounds of it. Ha, hilarious. I'd rather have 70 things to think about than one red flag to think about. Uma glares at Bryson. I actually think you're being so unreasonable. I was young and naive. So was I, once. Didn't mean I was ever unfaithful. Aw, oh, well done you. Your medal should be in the post. Most faithful man in the world. Oh, hang on. What about Willow? Dumped up pretty quick without much thought for being faithful. Oops. Too far. Just saying. Making out like your perfect won't fly with me. It's different. They both turn away from each other, their faces sour. Well, I think excess baggage is well and truly over. I think so. Do challenges always end like this? Only the juicy ones. Let's head back to the villa, guys. You all head back, a tense air amongst you all. <laughs> that was intense. You're sitting alone by the pool when Evan approaches. Hey, Ashley. How are you doing? Excess baggage was a lot to deal with. I'm actually not too fussed. The only thing I'm digesting is lunch. All that drama and stuff earlier is totally in the rear view. Alright, too cool for school over here. I like it. It's nice seeing someone rise above drama like that. That's how I am. I'm trying not to get involved myself, but I'm definitely feeling affected by everything. What's up? Some things that came up didn't sit well with me. Like what? It kind of goes deeper than just excess baggage. But I guess that was the tipping point. Tipping point of what? Well, I haven't even spoken to the boys about this yet. I wanted to tell you first, I trust you. He looks around to make sure you're both alone. Estelle is out of the picture for me completely. Oh, really? We're not vibing at all, like zero vibes, minus vibes. She puts in more effort with Alex than with me. And the worst part is, she won't admit it. She tells me I'm still her number one, but I don't think I'm even her number five. Honesty and kindness are the two qualities I need in a potential partner. So it's a big red flag. One, I can't ignore. I'm not surprised. I kind of predicted this would happen. You've seen it coming? Everyone has. She's basically ignored you the last two days. Putting all her effort into winning back Alex. I'm actually surprised you lasted this long. You've been patient. Well, I wanted to give her time and let her follow her heart. 
and it seems her heart is well and truly with Alex. I just wanted to tell you all this first. You're the person I feel closest to in here. The person I trust the most. That's nice to hear. So, if Estella's out of the picture, who's next for you? Evan gives you a warming smile before looking out across the pool. I'm not the kind of guy to step on anyone's toes. So I guess the only single girl is Vicky. Is she a bit of you? Evan shrugs. Not as much as someone else in here. And who's that? Evan looks at you for a moment. I think I'd upset a few people if I went after her. So, she's off limits? Well, she might be worth the fallout. I'm trying to decide. But I didn't just come here to talk about me. What about you? What about me? Where's your head at for the recoupling? I'ma say I've not given it much thought. I won't lie, I've barely given any thought. Whatever happens, happens. I like the way you think. Everyone except you is stressing out. It's pretty cool. Just being myself. I do feel like anything could happen tonight. I mean, the two newbies, Vicky and Thingy. Travis. Travis, sorry, I barely had a chance to speak to the guy. But yeah, they both have to couple up with someone. So them stealing two people is really going to shake up the order. The order. It's going to be interesting. The other islanders gather by you and Evan. Thought we'd interrupt your chat as we better go get ready. I'm kind of nervous for this. You'll all be fine. We'll go easy on you. Right. Girls only chat in the dressing room. Now. Yes. Much needed. Let's go. You all hurry off for the dressing room. <laughs> <sighs> Time to get ready for the recoupling. As you're considering what to wear, Uma lets out a scream. Ah, I'm so annoyed at that boy. Whoa, let's keep it down, Uma. There's a knock at the door and Travis pokes his head in. Is everything all right? I heard someone screaming. Yeah, it's all good, Travis. Travis nods, still a little confused before leaving. I'm sorry, girls. That was a bit much. A bit much for my eardrums, yeah. Go on, Uma, fill us in. So, obviously, my baggage was that I cheated on an ex. Can I just say, I was literally 18 and it was just a kiss? I've been going out with him for like two months. And yeah, I was wrong to do it. I'm not making excuses. But Bryson is making out like I'm a serial cheater. Feels like he was looking for an escape route and now he's found one. He'll come around. I think he'll come around, Uma. He's just a bit shocked is all. Yeah, maybe. Thing is, I want a guy who supports me. Not who buries his head in the sand whenever I do something they don't like. I guess we'll see what happens. What about you, Bon Bon? How you feeling about Jojo? Can I just say, sleep with whoever you want? It's fine. But the fact he slept with so many people? How would you even do that? Where's the time in the week? In his defense, if you're just casually going at it once or twice a week, after a year or two, you pretty easily hit the big numbers. Are you in the big numbers, Vicky? For the record, I'm not even in double figures. I'm just saying, I can see how someone would get to 70. I know, just screams player to me. What about you, Daphne? I'm worried about my excess baggage drama. When I told someone I loved them when I didn't. Is that it? I know guys that do that on the weekly. I know, it really struck a chord with Raphael, though. Heard him asking some of the boys if they thought he could trust me. So you think it's probably throwing him off? Yeah, a bit of me thinks he's gonna couple with someone else. Raph wouldn't do that, he'd speak to you about it first. Yeah, he's not shallow like that. If you two can get through Casa more together, this is nothing. I hope you're right, he's my first, second, and third favorite in here. What about you Estelle, where's your head at? I'm just so over all the drama, you know? Feels like people just can't help stirring the pot in here. Seems like Evan's head has been completely turned. That's only half of it, though. On excess baggage, he was literally siding with other people over me. It's clear he's finished with me. I don't mind. Me and him with Defo, a Casa Fling, and nothing more. But I'm actually annoyed about some of that drama he helped stir up. It's put me and Alex in a bad place. You've always been in a bad place. No offense, but you've basically always been in a bad place. You both twisted in Casa Amor. And even before then, it sounded like there was daily drama between you both. You weren't there to see us before Casa Amor. We were going strong. 
Mm, this Stefan guy might have a few things to say about that. But whatever you say, that's all in the past. I just hope we can squash it before the recoupling. Well, time is running out. And talking of, we better get our outfits sorted for tonight. Yeah, these outfits need to go off. Mine will be very much staying on, thank you very much. There's still time to chat to everyone, build some bridges and secure the right partner. I'll be pulling everyone for a chat. Very mysterious. Anyway, outfit decision time. How about this? All right, that's pretty. The girls look you up and down with their mouths wide open. Have to hand it to you, Ashley. That is pretty hot. It really compliments your figure too. Your figure too. Are you gonna wear that tonight, Ashley? I'll look at other options first. I think I'll see what else is there before I commit to anything. You have a chance of thinking you'll find anything more delicious than that. But I love the confidence. Let's see what else there is. All right, so this is not that bad. I actually really like this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Well, now that Ashley has a lovely outfit, we need to find outfits for ourselves. Wow, we all look stunning. Daphne does a little twirl. These are the chats that will decide who we have a couple with. Estelle looks at you with a raised eyebrow. We have to turn it up to 10 and ensure our faves want a couple with us. Ah, uh, I'm so excited. A night of proper grafting. Hope you pack the fact of 50, Vicky. Watch and learn. Let's get out there, girls. As the girls file out of the bedroom, Uma motions for you to stay behind. What is it, Uma? This recoupling tonight is huge. I really think we should get the most out of every chat as much as possible. You might be right. We all need to turn it up a level, secure our places. I'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna see how the night goes. Are you sure? You're gonna be speaking to basically everyone tonight. I think putting in a bit of extra time with each person could really help. Give you more time to work your magic. What do you think? Let's just see how it goes. Honestly, I'll just play it by ear. It's fine. Whatever you think is best. You head out ready to graft the night away. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and talk to Travis. Let's get that out the way because I'm not interested in him. You arrive on the terrace to find Travis looking out over the villa. Hi, Travis. What are you up to? I'm just letting it all soak in. Can't believe I'm actually here on the island of love. Is it everything you thought it would be? The sun beams down over his shoulder as he turns to face you, looking deep into your eyes. There's been a few surprises, that's for sure. What like? Well, every chat we've had has really caught me off guard. Especially that first date. It was a good laugh. Glad you had fun. That's exactly what I came in here looking for. Fun. And I've never met a girl that's as much fun as you, Ashley. Thanks, Travis. How did you find excess baggage? Travis goes red. Low-key embarrassing. Why? You saved someone's life. That's great. I don't think I've even told my family about that, to be honest. Why not? It wasn't a big deal. Anyone would have done what I did. I was just in the right place at the right time. It was a fun challenge until all that drama came up. Guess I've only been here for a short time, so I've got less to get upset about. Unlike some of the others. That's why I'm happy you came up here, actually. I've been wanting to have a private chat with you all afternoon. What about? Why don't we both sit down? I'll explain. I'll sit down with Travis. Sure thing. You take a seat next to Travis on the terrace seating. I wanted to chat with you about the recoupling. What about it? Well, it's my first full day here in the villa, but I know a thing or two. Like I might get to pick first. Do you know who you'll be picking? I know who my first choice is. His eyes meet yours and he lets out a smile. But I really don't want to give too much away. Wouldn't want to make out like I'm completely set on one person just yet. No matter who I pick, it's just the person I see the most potential with. I haven't been here long enough to catch feels, but I have caught a general vibe on most of you girls. What's your general vibe for me? I'm interested in what your general vibe for me is. I never normally reveal that kind of info, but I'll make an exception. 
First impressions were obviously that you're beautiful. I questioned whether you were playing a game in here. What? Not because you seem scheming or anything. I just don't believe we live in a world where you could be single. I mean, look at you. I get goosebumps whenever you look me in the eyes. Looks aside, what's the general personality vibe you get from me? The general personality vibe? Oh, it's not good. I won't lie. What? Not good? Yeah, it's better than good. It's great. Perfect. My cup of tea. I think you're a proper laugh, and I like the way you carry yourself. So overall, I'd give you very high marks for your vibe. You really like keeping me on the edge of my seat, don't you? You're the one who wanted to sit down. It is still early doors, though. Excess baggage is the first thing I've unpacked in here. And whether you're my top pick or not, I'd have to get to know you better. So, I had a little idea. While you're alone up here with me, why don't we play a little game? What's the game? Quick fire questions to get to know each other better. See what we agree and disagree on. And do I win anything if I do well in this game? Travis glances down at your lips, his eyes glistening with excitement. There'll be a prize in it for you, I'll make sure of it. What do you say, want to get to know each other a little better? I don't want to play. I'm alright actually, Travis. I know it sounds a bit silly, but I think it's fun. You learn so much about someone and only a few questions. Are you sure you don't want to play? Honestly, I'd rather not. I'll give it a miss, Travis. Maybe next time. Right, I better get going. I'll see you around that fire pit, Ashley. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Evan. Evan is standing over the toaster when you arrive in the kitchen. What you cooking, Evan? Ashley, you look stunning. Thanks, Evan. Yeah, I'm just chefing up a storm. Peanut butter toast for Uma, green tea for Vicky, and a protein shake for Alex. Wow, they're really working you hard. I don't mind, I love being in the kitchen. I'd rather this than be sitting on a daybed overthinking the recoupling. How are you feeling about tonight after all that excess baggage? I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine, actually. Nothing in excess baggage really blew me away, and the recoupling is what it is. Maybe if I stick around you long enough, that outlook will rub off on me. Stay with me all day so we can find out. Not sure if it works like that, but whatever you say. A lot is in the air right now. There's only one thing that I'm sure of. What's that? You and Alex are looking a lot stronger than me and Estelle. You know that me and Estelle are done and dusted. So that just leaves the question of who I'll couple with tonight. Maybe I'll pick you if I get the chance. He gives you a naughty glance as he stirs Alex's protein shake. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't another girl giving me some vibes here too. Oh, who else? Uma came up to me before and really gave off some flirty energy. She was laying it on thick, stroked my arm at one point. Stroke your arm? Wow. I know, that's like two moves away from moving in together. It all happened so fast. Then she asked if I could make her some peanut butter toast and left. It was all a bit sexy and mysterious. Has she been like that with you before? Not at all. We've barely spoken before this. It was a fun chat, can't lie, but it felt a bit out of nowhere. And I can't say we had much of a connection. It was just lighter banter, really. What do you reckon? Could you see me and her together? She's just making Bryson jealous. I think she may only be flirting with you to make Bryson jealous. Seems like quite a coincidence that the day she and him fall out is also the day that she starts making moves on you. You're right, it did feel a bit forced from her perspective. Well, I'll make this toast for her and then maybe I'll avoid anything more. At least for tonight. Another layer to this recoupling tonight. I wonder what's gonna happen. Who knows? After that big relaxing chat, we were dumped straight into excess baggage. All the good she we had immediately disappeared. I mean, some of the baggage is quite heavy. Except yours, donating 15 grand of your first start commission to charity. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's not really baggage either. I think most people would do that. Would they? I like to think so. I can assure you I've done more spicy things than that in my life. The toast pops up in the toaster and Evan roughly applies a generous dollop of peanut butter to it. That toast is for Uma. Or we could both eat it and continue our little chat. I've come up with a bit of an action plan for my remaining time in the villa. Thought you might be interested in hearing it. Shall we eat Uma's toast and continue our chat? I'll get going. 
I was actually gonna get going. Got a busy night ahead of us. I hear you, but this action plan of mine, it might involve you a bit. Involve me how? Well, this chat right now might be the first step of this action plan without giving too much away. Do you wanna stay and chat a bit longer? I really better get going. I really better get going. I suppose it would be rude to let Uma's toast go cold. I'll see you around, Evan. In a bit, Ashley. Last but not least, Alex. You find Alex by the daybed. He sits up as you approach. Ashley, you look stunning. Thanks, Alex. What are you doing out here then? Thinking about tonight. About your decision? No way, I know exactly what I'm doing tonight. He gives you a smile. I was wondering about what other people are doing. That game of excess baggage was hectic. Yeah, some of the girls were pretty unsettled by it. I'm sure they were. But some of the girls don't intrigue me as much as the one I'm coupled with. I really need to know where your head is at. <laughs> My head is still with you. All that excess baggage nonsense was a load of noise. My head is still with you. Never even flinched. That's nice to hear. I'm not sad she flirted with him while we were coupled. I'm just sad none of the guys here told me about it. Kind of sucked feeling like the other guys didn't have my back. Have you spoken to them about it? They just tell me it doesn't matter because what I have with you is so much stronger. I think they're all team Ashley as opposed to team Estelle. And which team are you? He looks at you for a moment, his face slowly lighting up with a reassuring smile. Of course I'm team Ashley. So you and all the boys are team Ashley? Maybe they aren't so bad after all. They clearly know where my heart is at. And that's wherever you are, I guess. I'm miles from home in this villa. But when I'm with you, it doesn't feel so far away. I love spending time with you and I really feel like I'm figuring out who you are. You're figuring me out? I'll prove it. Ask me any question about you and I'll answer it correctly. Go on, ask me anything. Um, how many sugars do I have in my tea? I'll ask you a very important question. How many sugars do I have in my tea? Aha, trick question. You can't fool me that easy. You don't have any sugar in your tea. You're sweet enough. Am I right? You're wrong. You're wrong. Oh, really? That's embarrassing. I'm glad I got it wrong, though, because now there's one more thing I get to find out about you. I still want to know all there is to know about you, Ashley. I want to know how many sugars you have in your tea. I want to go much deeper. I want to know what inspires you and what annoys you. I want to know what your favorite time of day and least favorite season is. I want to know what you watch on TV when you've had a bad day. I want to know what you look like in the passenger seat of my car with the window down on a sunny day. And if it takes a lifetime with you to find out all these things, then that's fine with me because you seem endlessly interesting and I'm hooked on you. Big words, big words for big feelings. And maybe your head is no longer with me, I don't know. But I think it's important you know how I feel. He leans back. I know you probably want to try and speak to everyone tonight, but why don't you stick with me for a bit longer? I'll make it worth your while. What do you say, want to stay and chat a bit longer? I feel like we have a lot to discuss. I better get talking to some others. I better get going. I want to chat to everyone before the recoupling. Are you sure? Would be nice to have a heart to heart. He looks around to make sure you're alone. Who knows, maybe we could have some fun. There's plenty more to my romantic side you haven't seen. I better get talking to some others. Nah, I better get going, honestly. Maybe another time, Alex. I better head off, busy night. Have fun, I'll see you at the fire pit. After chatting to everyone, you return to the bedroom where Uma is getting ready. Hey, Ashley. You seem in a much better mood, Uma. Did you make up with Bryson? No, not at all. He's still upset that I cheated on some guy, whose name I can barely remember from seven years ago. It was either Tom or Tim. I'm just over him, though. Over Tim, over Tom, or over Bryson? All three. Anyway, no use going on about it. I saw you getting some last minute chatting with the others. Feels like you're wrapped up in a love triangle. Or is it a love square? I can't even keep up anymore. Seems like Alex, Evan, and Travis all want a shot with you. Seems that way. From behind you, Bonnie enters the bedroom. The sound of a text makes the room go silent. 
I've got a text. Everyone rushes in. Uma reads out the text. Islanders, please gather around the fire pit for tonight's recoupling. Hashtag time to decide. Hashtag new couples start now. I guess it's time. Ugh, here we go. It'll be fine, Uma. Let's head over there. You all make your way to the fire pit, a nervousness in the air. You all take a seat around the fire pit. Alex positions himself next to you. Are you all right? I'm kind of worried. What about? I have a feeling that... Alex notices Travis looking over at you. A phone pings cutting Alex off. That's me. What's it say? Travis and Vicky, as the New Islanders, you will choose who to recouple with first. Travis, please stand and make your decision. Travis stands and let out a deep breath to steady himself. This last day has been hectic in the best way possible. I've met some truly wonderful people. Some of you are more my type than others. And one of you is so much my type, it's almost unreal. This person is hilarious and kind-hearted. So even though I've only known her for a little while, it's been a pretty magic time, to say the least. So the girl I want to couple up with is... Ashley. I was really hoping they wasn't going to do this, man. Travis smiles at you as Alex shakes his head in surprise. I'm going to give Travis a platonic pat on the shoulder. You stand up and give Travis a friendly pat on the shoulder. Cheers, Travis. No worries. Hope it's not too toe-steppy. As you and Travis sit down, you notice Jojo put his arm around an annoyed-looking Alex. Travis turns to you a look of embarrassment on his face. Is it alright that I picked you? I'd rather be coupled with someone else. Honestly, I had my eye on someone else. I'm sorry you feel that way. Hopefully, if you give me a chance, I can turn your head. I wasn't sure where your head was at with Alex. I just hope I've not hurt anyone by picking you. Alex looks on, clearly saddened by the situation. A phone pings cutting through the silence. It's me. Vicky, please stand and make your decision. Vicky stands and looks out over everyone. I'm choosing this guy because he's a proper kind soul. A real gent and above all, proper, proper fit. I can tell he's going to keep me on my toes and I'm excited to see where we end up. So the guy I want to couple up with is... Evan. Didn't see that coming. Me neither. Evan stands and gives Vicky a hug. Guess I know who I'm picking then. Estelle glances over at Alex. Two out of two steals? Looks like tonight is going to be interesting. Daphne isn't wrong. Two out of two steals? I haven't seen numbers like that since I cycled to work three days in a row and left the bike unlocked. That was three out of three steals. Thankfully, they kept returning the bike when they couldn't get the stabilizers off. Anyway, has Travis's dramatic steal unlocked the floodgates for more big moves in this recoupling? Come back next time to find out. All right, so that was Love Island the Game Sticker Twist episode 15. So yeah, it was a pretty lengthy episode, but there was a lot that was going on. Um, it was basically about the recoupling. So everybody was talking about the recoupling, went around to do our last final bit of grafting. Couldn't stay and chat with anyone any longer because didn't have enough gems, but that's all right. We picked a pretty outfit. Um, so yeah, just went around and then it came time for the recoupling. And of course, Travis decided to pick us. I tried to put him off us, but of course, that's not how the game rolls. <laughs> so now we are stuck with Travis. I'm not happy about that. Now Estelle got open. Just now it's open for her to go with Alex now. So I remember someone commenting about that, saying something like this was going to happen. So yeah, if all else fails, like my second option, if I had to choose, it probably would be Evan. I'm not going to hold you. Um, yeah, so we'll see how things go. Comment down below how your game went. Also, I know I mentioned it in the previous video, but another season is coming out in February. How do you guys feel about that? They're dropping seasons pretty often, you know? 
um, back to back to back to back. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, if you made it all the way to the end, definitely give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video, share this channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.